Today we're going to be learning how to do some uh, key bindings so you can create uh, kind of shortcuts for things in your bash environment. Um, and we're going to simply use a command called bind. Uh, and this next part's going to look a little confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. First thing, two single quotes. And in between them, let's do another set of quotes. And inside there, we're going to do backslash E, square bracket, 17, and then tilde L, I believe is what this is called. A little squiggly line that represents your home directory in many cases. So this part right here represents the key that we're going to be pressing. And that key in this case is the F6 key. And we'll uh, look into more on how you find that out in a little bit. Now we're going to say uh, colon. And then here, inside another set of quotations, we're going to type the command that we want to run when we press the F6 key. And in this case, we'll just type exit. But we also want to put backslash N for new lines. So it types out exit and hits enter. So we'll hit that. And we can go on with, you know, our regular everyday stuff, blah, 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 whatever. And then if I press F6 at any point now, it closes the terminal window. Now, this doesn't get saved from session to session. I can hit F6 here, and it, all it does is print up a character on the screen. So, once again, let's look at that command. It's bind, and then inside these single quotes, we're going to put the key that we want to press, which right here means F6, and then on the other side of the semicolon, the command we want to run. Now, if we did the same thing without the new line, let's see what happens. It just types out those words. So you can create shortcut uh, key bindings to type something on the screen and not necessarily run a command, uh, which could be useful. Uh, you can also, if you want something more than just F6, maybe F6 and then type something. And uh, I'll give you an example here. We can go the same command. So bind and then inside our single quotes, then double quotes. And over here, this is our key, our symbol for... Uh, the F6 key, but we can also type something like buy. And let's not forget our backslash N here. Now, I can press F6. Oh, that was F5, sorry. F6, and you see nothing gets typed on the screen, and I can start typing. I'm typing B, Y, E, and when I hit the E, it closes. Um, so that is another way you can do uh, these key bindings. Once again, let's have a look at that. We did bind, and then inside our single quotes, we have our double quotes here, which represent the uh, F6 key, and then what we want to type. Now, if we did it without the F6 key, so let's, uh, let's just type by here and see what happens. Now, I'll start typing by, B, Y, E. So you can just do keywords like that. The only issue with doing that is, as you noticed, once we have that set, let's say I want to type out um, bind. That's a command. I can type B and it doesn't start typing. When I hit the I though, it does all appear. So that can be a little awkward. You may want to avoid stuff like that by using some special character at the beginning like the F keys. Now, how do you figure out um, what the F keys symbol is? Uh, well, that's simple enough. If we just do read, which we've used in the past to grab user input, we'll hit enter, and then I'll press F6. And right there, it shows you that F6 is the square bracket, 17, and then the tilde. L. F5 is 15. Uh, F7 is 18. F8 is 19. I can hit... Uh, you know, any of my F keys. Oops, that was F11, which makes the screen full screen. So that is how you can figure out what the special characters are. And that's pretty much the basis of it. So let's quickly review. We'll go back up to this command here. We've got bind, and then inside our single quotes, we have everything here. The first half of it before the colon here is our characters here. If you're using a special character like an F key, you're going to want to start with E, or backslash E, and then the symbol for that. If you just want to have a word, so I can type in, let's do this, we'll go films by Chris, 
And what I can do, I, I can do something like uh, xdg dash open, which is the command to uh, that I've gone over in the past that will open up whatever uh, file you're trying to open up in the appropriate program. And then I'll say http colon backslash backslash films by Chris .com. And let's see if this works. So now I can start typing films by Chris. I haven't hit the S yet, but you notice nothing comes up on the screen. I'll hit S. Uh, it opened up the browser, but because uh, I didn't put my uh, command there in single quotes, I, and I put one too many backslashes, it kind of removed some parts of the layer. Let's see if I put, uh, if I do single quotes here, if that will mess stuff up. I'm now experimenting, which I do sometimes in videos, and I really should test stuff out first, but now I'll go films by Chris. Nope, that didn't work. I just typed that out. Uh, I suppose, let's see, we can do backslash backslash there and that will fix it. So let's get rid of those single quotes. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to give up for now. Nope, didn't work. Um, yeah, I should have tested that out before, but you get the basic idea of what I'm trying to accomplish there, I hope. Uh, but that's key binding with a little bit of a mess up at the end. But uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And please visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. I'm sure once I look at this again, the mistake I'm making is going to be quite obvious, and I'm sure someone will comment on it. Uh, but thank you for watching, and have a great day.